Asus is really excited about the AMD uh, upcoming platform, so specifically AM4, and then of course Ryzen, these latest generation AMD enabled CPUs. The performance that these CPUs are gonna be offering is extremely impressive and really kind of uh, reset the performance expectation for what people have thought historically for AMD CPUs, especially across the last three to five years. You now have a legitimate part that if you're looking for an absolute top of the line level of performance when it comes to gaming, content creation, productivity, whatever it might be, this platform is definitely gonna offer it. And uh, with that in mind, Asus is super excited about offering a wide range of boards for it. So in terms of our board design development for AM4, we always take every uh, series, regardless of uh, whether it's for an Intel or an AMD side of the fence, extremely seriously. We wanna be able to give users the best experience based on not only their budget, but also the features that they're looking for. And for that regard, the launch of the AM4 platform will bring in awesome Prime Series as well as an RG Series boards. So you're gonna be able to get an outstanding level of features and functionality, whether you're concerned about overclocking, aesthetics, fan controls, um, you know, all the latest IO specification. You're not gonna need to worry that you're not gonna find a key specification that you want for a modern system in 2017. So for this AM4 platform, we have, of course, our RG Series and motherboards, and that's gonna be kicking off with our brand new uh, Crosshair series. So for many of you that haven't necessarily heard about the Crosshair series in some time, it's actually a very special board uh, series for us. It's the actual first ROG motherboard ever was a Crosshair series motherboard. And um, they really have an outstanding tradition in terms of really being boards that were purpose built for the highest level of performance. And the actual previous generation, uh, the previous Crosshair series board held over nine world records per each AMD FX CPU in the number one pull position as well as also having the highest overclock ever achieved for any CPU at over 8.7 gigahertz. So for this generation, we were extremely excited about trying to kind of continue in this tradition of offering an amazing board uh, from top to bottom, whether you're a gamer, an overclocker, an enthusiast that cares about aesthetics, or just looking for an awesome build, uh, we really want to be able to do something special for this new Crosshair 6 Hero. So when you're trying to look at uh, the current uh, Crosshair series uh, from the Intel side of the fence, we do have the actual Maximus 9 Hero. And this actually takes on the same naming convention for AMD for this generation. So historically our Crosshair series have been called Formula, but for this generation they're now pretty much parity. So it'd be the Crosshair 6 Hero, and you could compare that pretty much against the Maximus 9 Hero. So you're gonna have an outstanding offering for uh, enthusiasts out there with this simple motherboard. So the Crosshair maintains the tradition that we've now set for a couple of different years with RG series motherboards where it's about first and foremost making sure that the board has a really nice clean monochromatic color aesthetic so that means that we're not going to have different kind of colors on board that are going to be conflicting against uh, other colors that you want to introduce from your build whether it's going to be from other components whether it's going to be from cabling uh, whether it's going to be from custom paint whatever it might be uh, we want the board to look great um, but we don't want it to compete it really wants to be able to set a great foundation and tying in with that of course is the inclusion of the integrated RGB lighting where there's two zones one that's built under the shroud and then another that's in the PCH section um, those of course fully controllable up to you um, where things get really sweet though is of course the inclusion of two rgb asus or sync headers so that's going to allow you to go ahead and connect things like led strips chassis with integrated led light led lighting uh, graphics cards of course uh, and then even memory modules and so many other items uh, where you're going to be able to fully synchronize everything uh, so that you can really be able to maintain the look and feel that you want for your system So one of the things that's most exciting about AMD's new Ryzen series of CPUs is that every CPU is an unlocked CPU. That means that you're going to be able to go ahead and go in there and tune it and be able to get more performance out of it. And so with that at its core, uh, we really want to be able to look at different ways and easy ways that users can maximize the overclocking experience. So we've got two options. You can dive in straight into the UEFI and have all the manual tuning parameters that you could possibly want. You can customize and tune the VRM for efficiency and stability, extending maximum uh, power performance. Uh, you know, and quite a number of other specialized parameters. If you're really looking for maximizing your system in the easiest way possible, we've got our auto-tuning technology, which is part of fiber optimization. With the click of a button, you can target your overclock based on temperature, uh, CPU frequency, uh, target voltage, and then you can even customize different aspects of stress test duration and uh, the different type of stress loads that you want to be able to put on your CPU. The great thing is that it's also CPU specific. So regardless of the margin your CPU, the cooling solution you use, the power supply, uh, your overclock pocket results are going to be stable and specific to your system that you've built. 
So with Ryzen offering uh, quite a bit of overclocking flexibility, of course, there's always going to be concerns regarding people um, caring about how can they manage the, the kind of the, the thermals for their system and how can they make sure everything's effectively cooled. And so one of the cool things that the Crosshair series offers is our Fan Expert 4 technology. Uh, what this means is that all the chassis fan headers are going to have the ability to have uh, DC, so 3-pin, as well as PWM 4-pin based fans. They can be automatically profiled and calibrated so that you can find out their minimum and their maximum operating speeds. But more importantly for this generation is that there's temperature input mapping. This is really cool because you can have the fans respond to not just the Ryzen CPU temperature, but you could actually have it respond to, let's say, the motherboard temperature, the VRM temperature, or even the graphics card. Um, this will actually allow you to really most effectively make sure that you get the best cooling experience uh, when you build on a board like the Crosshair 6. Um, one of the other cool things too is that users that have pre-existing cooling solutions uh, with the Crosshair board actually have an option to either use the AM3 mounting points or the new AM4 mounting points. That means you don't have to make an investment in buying a brand new AM4 enabled cooler. So when it comes to other areas of improvement beyond overclocking, uh, we always take really seriously audio and networking designs on ROG Series motherboards. So you've got our Intel NIC, uh, which is really kind of the industry leader in terms of offering outstanding UDP gaming performance, uh, which is the most common type of packet type for online games. In addition to that, we have our Game First Packet Priority software so that you can go ahead and customize all the different aspects, whether it's going to be for music, downloading, streaming, gaming, whatever it might be, you can make sure you're getting the best network connection. Uh, now, on the audio side, we've really gone to the whole next level and we're leveraging our Supreme FX audio design. So you've got a high grade, brand new S1220 audio codec, which has been specially been for us. Uh, it's got outstanding signal noise ratio, improved THD, um, improved live level input so that if you want to get great microphone quality, you're good to go. It's got a built-in ESS Sabre DAC on there uh, with high quality operational amplifier. So if you want to be able to punch up the volume for your headphones, you're going to get some really nice clear uh, volume. And there's some really awesome software suites. A lot of time people don't talk about this, but we've got some killer optimization options uh, as well as uh, new options to be able to manage how you can apply presets uh, for your music, movies, or games, where if you want to be able to apply uh, specialized profiles for one game and then something else for, let's say, your Spotify, you can do that. Uh, there's a lot packed in for this generation's Supreme FX audio design. So in terms of cooling in general and uh, water cooling for ROG Series motherboards, another area that we really look to distinguish the design implementations that we put on the board. So uh, you're going to have uh, dedicated water cooling zones on the motherboard uh, for things like uh, water temperature input monitoring and output monitoring, as well as if you want to water uh, monitor water flow. There's also a dedicated water pump header so that if you're going to be using a high performance PWM pump, you can power it directly from that. And uh, for users that are also use closed loop water cooling solutions, you also don't have to worry about running that to a traditional chassis fan header, you can go ahead and connect directly to uh, the all-in-one pump header. So one of the other areas that we looked at really carefully in terms of an overclocking experience is not just the CPU, but also the DRAM. So this is an area that ASUS has historically had a huge amount of success and really bought a, a lot of specialized designs. And this is referred to as the DRAM T topology. Um, so we actually have to customize a special layout on the motherboard. This, along with an optimized UEFI, or what some people still call the BIOS, allow us to have very, very high DRAM overclocking capabilities. So this is exciting because now with AM4, you're gonna have DDR4, which allows for some really high frequencies. So in most situations, you would probably traditionally be limited to something maybe like 2600, maybe 2800 megahertz, but definitely on an ROG series motherboard, you're gonna be looking at easily, you know, 30 to 100 megahertz if the memory controller on the CPU can handle it. And in some situations, even greater than maybe even 3400 megahertz. So in terms of all kind of the core specifications, if you're wondering about what the board offers, it's all gonna be there. You've got everything from USB 3.0, USB 3.1, both Type-A and Type-C. Uh, of course, you're gonna have your gigabit LAN that's gonna be on board. You've got uh, multiple PCI by 16 slots. So if you're looking to be able to do Crossfire as well as SLI, that's fully supported on the motherboard. And it's also been updated to PCI Gen 3. So you're gonna get the maximum amount of bandwidth supplied directly from the PCIe lanes from the CPU to the graphics cards. Uh, you throw in, of course, support for SATA 6G as well as the latest generation of M.2 and NVMe based drives, and you've pretty much got all the I.O. specification you could ask for. 
So some of the other interesting areas that we've put on uh, this ROG series boards in terms of special design innovations, one is our 3D printing initiative. So there's multiple mounting points that are on the board that allow users to be able to take uh, reference files that we've already put out there in the community and they can get them printed uh, by, let's say, 3D printing services or they can print them themselves. So they can do things like uh, cable combs, they can do special shrouds, um, they can do uh, M.2 cooling fan mounts, they can do all kinds of really cool interesting things or if they just want to print something that has a custom nameplate, they can do that also. Um, beyond that, there's also some other cool uh, innovations that we've implemented, such as a, a new USB 3.1 front panel connector. So for the latest generation of chassis that are coming to market, you have that interface. You've also got a dedicated ROG EXT header, which is cool if you want to be able to use our breakout boxes uh, like the ROG front base or the ROG OC panel. So if you're really an enthusiast and want to be able to maybe uh, take advantage of our better quality sound implementation at the front of your chassis, or for easy overclocking and fan controls, you've got a lot of different options for you. So in terms of the number of boards that we're going to be offering, it's going to be quite robust. Initially, at launch, you're going to see not only this uh, Crosshair 6 Hero as well as our uh, X370 Prime uh, from our Prime series of motherboards, uh, but we're also going to actually have some uh, B350, A320 series motherboards, and we'll actually have quite a number of other boards coming out at a later date uh, to be able to really fill out and offer a breadth and depth uh, for users that are looking to be able to build awesome AMD M4 Ryzen enabled systems. So ASUS is super excited about what AMD is bringing to the table with AM4 and with Ryzen. Uh, we've had a long-term history with them in terms of being able to design a wide range of products and we're actually uh, happy to be the only complete AMD partnership out there in terms of offering motherboards, graphics cards, and FreeSync enabled monitors to be able for a complete AMD enabled experience. So in this regard, we're really excited about what AMD is gonna not only uh, be coming out with right now, but also what's gonna be coming down to the pipe.